बहुत अच्छा From heritage to e age, India has taken a giant step. The 1.1 billion strong population infallibly supports the emerging markets and the numerous international brands that have found a new consumer haven in India. I am very amazed by, about the Indian economy and development, about what is happening here, because I see a lot of people, a lot of cars, they are moving around, the buildings are built. Uh, I see the country is developing very fast and that's what amazes me the most. Infrastructure facilities like airways, rail and road transport ensure seamless connectivity within cities. Rapid industrial makeover, a wide network of power lines and telecommunications further strengthen the foundation of the country. The fundamental policy of the government of, of India has not changed, uh, has, has been maintained, has been strengthened in a sense and uh, we don't see any difficulty. Today, India boasts of skilled managerial and technical manpower that matches the best available in the world. Our headquarter in Japan expects the India will grow from now on. We have had so much success in the last five or six years here in India. It has really been uh, a fantastic growth to, uh, that we have made. Overall, a change is inherently visible. Better living conditions and affluent consumer trends have largely contributed to the improved lifestyles of the Indian masses. A tireless society, progressing rapidly. A historic nation, forever committed to change and development. A people, extremely hospitable and always welcoming. Mr. Cohen, you are the co-chair of the World Economic Forum's India Economic Summit in New Delhi this November. As delegates prepare to attend the meeting, we'd like to get your views on four key areas. Firstly, while India's progress over the past 25 years has been remarkable, what must India prioritize to ensure continued growth in the years to come? Oh, there is no doubt in my mind that the main area uh, of attention should be infrastructure. Uh, I think on anything else, India has plenty of resources, plenty of talent, plenty of experience, and everybody is very optimistic about the potential of India in the future. Uh, the only area of concern can be uh, is India investing enough in its infrastructure in order to facilitate and support uh, the potential growth? India is one of the three major economies in the world that posted positive GDP growth. Yeah, th there is no doubt for me that for then we're going to continue to have growth. And this growth is going to accelerate when uh, the overall uh, global economic situation will normalize. What are the most pressing, pressing challenges India must address in order to instill confidence in the investments made in India? Well, again, I'm going to come back to my first point. I think the, the, 
biggest area of concern of investors, particularly of foreign investors, uh, particularly when we compare India to other emerging economies, is are we paying enough attention to infrastructure? Is the government investing enough resources into infrastructure? I'm not only talking about roads and ports and airports. Every kind of infrastructure is absolutely fundamental because what we don't want is a situation where infrastructure becomes a burden uh, on the country. And finally, what must business and government leaders do to ensure that young women across social classes in India can realize their full potential in relation to education and employment opportunities? Well, you know, what, what companies can do anyway is, uh, you know, uh, trying to promote role models in India, because we are all employers in India, role models try to uh, give more information, facilitate uh, the uh, emergence of diversity into the work uh, into the workforce there are plenty of examples we can give uh, models we can show communication we can promote um, you know arguments we can develop uh, in order to make sure that india can benefit from all its human resources thank you mr gan